super nice sunny day here in Jersey City and I'm on my way into the city, into New York, to Phillips, to the auction house. I was there last week actually when I spoke to Cy at the, uh, you know, Cy Adams at the opening of Tongue and Cheek and Exhibition there. But tonight it's a panel and it's a panel with uh, two other lovely women, Emily and Elizabeth. And so um, I'm going to jump in the car to the path train to a subway and then to the panel. So hopefully I don't get too hot and sweaty before I get there. So I think that 
that kind of shift just as a society becoming more comfortable with what we're wearing, that, that's also helpful. It's a really interesting point if you think about gender fluidity, and also you think about our cell phones and our work life fluidity, like everything's kind of blurring together, and that you would wear what you wear on the weekend. You're, you're, maybe we're just becoming more ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was gonna say, you know, I have a memory, I'm, I'm the eldest of six kids, so my mom wore a school high tech. You know, they're like awful, really cheap shoes. Um, but actually, if you look back, they were probably really well made and quite comfortable. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious, like, you know, what is that kind of psychology that gets into us, like, quite young, where, like, we have to wear those ones? Or, like, you know, we, we, we're seeing they're wearing these high tech, and, you know, we can't do that. And it's something that continues as we get older. 